come floating through the air. Hey guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. Today, today has been a roller coaster ride. I have tried filming. This is my third time filming today, and the first two times did not work out. I wiped it off. My skin was burning from wiping stuff off. So this eye right now is totally weeping. My eyelash is like barely hanging on. So if you see that, please ignore it. It's just because my skin and my eye is so irritated from trying to do so many looks. I'm trying to pre-film stuff. Sorry, I just make sure my wig's on great. I'm trying to pre-film stuff before I go away, but at this rate, I probably won't have that many videos. We'll see. Anyway, today's video, let's get this out of my mouth. I'm super excited. Like I was saying, I was in a moment of, oh my God, I suck at makeup. What am I doing with my life? And then I saw that this package was on the front step. So I'm using, of course you saw it in the title. It is the Kat Von D and Divine Collection. Here was the PR box. It comes with a palette and a studded kiss lipstick. I'm totally loving, loving this vibe. This is inspired by Kat's Muse Divine, the iconic drag queen entertainer and symbol of inclusivity. The launch dates, um, it's already out on catbondybeauty.com and on sephora.com, it is already up on sephora.com. Bella! And then it'll be in stores in Sephora, US and Canada, March 2nd. And then international, it says February 2018, but then it says Debenheim, Debenham, I don't know if it's Debenheim, Debenhams, probably should get used to saying that because it's going to be like my new store once I'm over there. Uh, Debenhams, UK and Ireland, March 2018. It is vegan and cruelty free. This is the lipstick. I'm wearing it right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful nude. And I had never tried her study kiss lipsticks before. They smell so freaking good. And I really, really love this color. It's like a really good nude for me. Plus, like this packaging is like so freaking cute. So this is the palette. It has Divine's eyes right there. And then you open it up. You've got a nice mirror with some drag brows. And then here are all the shadows. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight shadows in the palette and I used all eight on my eyes in this look. When I first saw this palette launching, I was like, it's so like, how many looks are you really gonna be able to create out of it? It's kind of like just a collector's item palette, which I do agree that it totally is a collector's item palette because you know, not everybody gravitates towards such cool tones. But after working with them, they're so pretty. And I'm not just saying that. Like, I swatched this shade as soon as I got it because it was kind of broken. So I was, like, swatching it. And I swatched it on my hand. And in the pan, it just looks like this, like, pearly gold color. But then if you look really close up, it has, like, blue shimmers going through it. It's really, really pretty. And, yeah, all the colors really pretty. I mean, you're not going to be able to create as many like as with a rainbow palette, but I still think it's a really, really cool palette. Probably should tell you the price. I'll leave the price and everything down in the description box below because I don't know off the top of my head. I'll just leave it down there. I just want to compare it to the pastel goth palette because a lot of people do have that palette. It is the same exact size and the shadows did remind me of that. Like, let's compare the blue. Well, obviously not the, shim the shimmer shadows. The blue in the Divine palette actually is lighter, if you can see there. It is a teeny bit lighter. Yeah, overall, I really liked this collection. Like I said, I was really not sure about it. The green is so pretty. The light blue is so pretty. I just, overall, I really, really enjoyed using this collection. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. To start off the look, I'm taking Kat Von D's Dagger Liquid Lipstick, and I'm going to be placing this in my crease. If you use this lipstick on your lips, you probably shouldn't use it directly out of the applicator. But I don't, so I did. Anyway, blending that out with a dual fiber brush. And just to make sure the edge is nice and seamless, I pick up another brush to really diffuse the edge. I am 
Next, going into the Divine palette from Kat Von D, I'm taking the white, which is called Female Trouble, and I'm going to be placing this in the upper crease area, brow bone area, so I have a base shadow down. Now I'm taking the shade Waters, which is the really, really pretty powder blue, and I am blending that in my upper crease area. Then I'm taking more of the white just to make sure this is really nice and blended out. Now I'm going to take a mixture of Waters and Hard Magic and I'm going to place this in my crease and then of course blend that out with more of Waters. Burning the bridge that keeps us I'm here and I'm fearless Exaggerated, that's what you assume Next, going in directly with Hard Magic, the black in the palette, I'm adding this to my crease and then of course going to be blending that out with more of Waters. So I was having a little bit of trouble trying to blend this out only because my eyelids were super dry and like stinging because of everything I had done previously in the day. Fast forward, I cut my crease off camera and now I'm going into the green shade which is called Pink Flamingos. And I'm going to be putting this on my lid. Next, I'm going to be taking the shade Babs and I'm going to be highlighting the inner corner of my eye, well inner corner lid area, I'm going to highlight the rest of the inner corner later. Now I'm taking Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner and I'm going to be winging this out, but once I wing it out I'm going to pull that back into the crease area so this is like a winged eyeshadow look. Know what I mean? Jelly bean? So then once I'm done filling that in, I'm going to take one of the brushes I used to blend out the base at the very beginning and just smudge out the edge just to make sure it's not harsh. Back into the palette, I'm going to take the shade Filthy and I'm going to go over the transition from the green to the black. Then of course picking up the green and making sure those two shadows blend seamlessly. Now I'm taking Kat Von D's Poe lip liner and I'm going to be using this in my waterline and along my lower lash line. I'm only going to go about halfway across my lid and then smudge that out. Next, I'm taking the shade Baltimore and I'm going to place this over top of that pencil. And then I'm going to take the shade Hairspray and place this on the inner half of the lower lash line. Going to highlight the inner corner of my eye again using Babs. And then I'm going to swipe off the bake. Going to blend out the lower lash line and then I popped on the House of Lashes Noir Fairy Light Lashes and this is the finished eye look. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!